if the case priority is high and case origin is web and let's say web email should be populated right then what we need to do is and assign to the case owner an email regarding the same so we need to create a task for that right so let's uh, start building this flow as well now move to we need to create a new record triggered flow so select record triggered flow right now in this first of all we need to write our trigger when a case a uh, record is created and we need to select a record is created condition requirement we need to now make sure that origin equals web another condition priority equals high and third condition is web email so we need to check what is the supplied email is null boolean false i will let you know why i am checking this check supplied email is null boolean false because at the end is saying that you need to send an email to the case email right now we need to make sure that if the email is over there right if the email uh is not populated on the case record then how we are going to send the email right so we need to make sure we have the supplied email we are going to use in our flow and obviously as we need to create a related record which is task we need to create a task for this case right so we need to select action and related record over there and click done after that simply again similarly as from the previous example we need to use a create record element to simply create a task and here we need to simply use separate resources and little values and type here task so let, again let's move to task and try to see what are the mandatory field for task right so let's tasks and try to create a new task here now here you will see that we have assigned to id we have it status is mandatory and subject is mandatory priority and to which context this task we need to relate so here you can see name and related to related to can be anything right like either you can select case whatever the object you can uh, see over there so basically it is the what id if you are you if you need to add a case to a particular person right then you need to simply you will have two option either lead or contact so here you can see in the who id you will see contact and lead and for the related uh, related to you will see a lot of objects over there which are available in our org probably so after that now you will see probably uh, priority as well right so i am going to write into flow builder that first of all we need to assign so basically case owner will be the task owner so i am going to write the record or let's say you can also type case it will automatically came dot owner id so owner id yeah after that let's say status let's say for now not started then vote id in vote id we need to populate the our case id so let's say case dot id then we have priority i let's try to check if any other fields over there subject is mandatory subject let's say follow up for the web to case sorry follow up as a yeah so now let's we are good if you want to also add the description over there you can so let's say if you want to populate comment or you can say description 
I'm going to provide the same description as we have on the case. So let's say record dot description. Click done. And now we need to send an email. So although you can use a send email alert, so for send email alert, you need to create a template. You need to create an email alert and probably then you need to use your send email alert. So what I can do is first of all, I need to go to email template. So what I'm going, I'm going to create a lightning email template just to make sure uh, you will also know about this feature. So first of all, we need to uh, enable folder and enhance sharing settings, right? We need to enable this so that you can create, uh, let's say email templates and you will find in the uh, app launcher, not in the setup. So you will need to create new email template. Now let's say task follow-up description. If you want to provide, let's say when a web to case is created, send an email after the task creation. Related entities case, right? So I need to, let's say, I'm going to select the public folder and in the subject, what I'm going to do is task has been assigned to you. So now you here you can create a HTML template, right? So first of all, I'm going to write a mail. Let's say, hey, this case has been assigned to you. Please check it as soon as possible. And let's say, Below are the case details attached as well. Right, so this is the template. Now, apart from this, what I am going to use is let's say case number. Go to case number. After that, subject, not, not exactly subject, uh, description of the case. And also let's say I add priority. For priority, again, move to the record. And this priority, insert. Similarly for description. description and later on let's say if you want to type thank you you can so yeah let's try to yeah we are good i need to add subject is assigned Right, so let me just save this. So that's how we can create ST, Lightning HTML templates, right? One more thing, Rahul, we can even more enhance this template with the use of uh, Lightning uh, Email Template Builder, right? So for that, I will also share the link how to uh, use Lightning Email Template Builder. So now move to the flow. Now after that, what we, okay. So as we created a lightning email template right now, after that, what we need to do, move to setup and we need to create a email alert. So in the quick find type email alert. Click continue. So I'm going to create a new email alert which says send 
email to this owner. So I think not to the case owner, we need to send this uh, email to supplied email, right? Whoever the whoever uh, asked for the case. Okay. So we need to write case registered. I also need to make change into the template. Object is let's say case and email template, obviously. Select we are need to select from uh lightning templates task follow-up i need to change the name as well now it will say to whom user you need to send email right so i'm going to select email field and here you can see email field uh, colon web email now after that you will see current user email address so it will take mine let me just click on save and let's move to the template and here I'm going to add it. So let's say, and here I need to type merge field as well. This is let's say name, click next. So yeah, here's dot supplied name. And I also need to change the line your thank you for reaching out to us we are happy to help you and your case is registered with us one of the You can say sales team member will contact you, connect with you. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, please fi find the below case details. So let's remove priority because it is of no use for our and the customer. Thank you. And let's say team quit trades. Now let's instead of assigned, let's say registered. Hey, now I can use the name as well. Let's save. Now what I'm going to do now, everything is ready and template is ready. Email alert is ready. Now what we need to do is move to our flow builder and try to save our flow first. And let's say case. Mm, registration. Email and task follow up. Let's try to save your flow. Now you need to refresh because we just created template and email alert. So that's why to make sure that our flow will contain these. So I'm going to click on edit. Sorry, not on edit. I'm going to click on plus button and select send email alert over there. After that, I need to use. So here you will see case registered automatically appeared over there. Now simply send email to customer and let's say in record id we need to simply provide case id so let's say record global variable dot id and hit done so simply uh, the benefit in send email alert we just need to pass the id everything will automatically uh, now i am going to save my flow again and activate it so now one more check I need to, uh, as we are also using a supplied name Rahul, so I also add here also supplied. Add. So I'm going to add a supplied name is null boolean. 
false. That means it should also populate it if you want to run the flow. Click on save as, hit save, and let's activate it. Now let's move to a case. Let's see where we are in the cases and try to create a case. So let's say priority I case origin web status. Let's say new and type is nothing web in a web email. You need to type, let's say. So where we are going to write supplied email. So let's say I'm going to write Subham Bharatwaj S R D at the red gmail dot com. Now I'm also going to populate the contact. Let's say search for A. So Jack Rogers, I'm going to select. So now I'm going to write, let's say, my PC is not working. Can you please send me a service person who can look at it? Thank you. Right, so these are the information we want. So, okay, I don't want to populate contact. I can simply, let's say, provide Shubham Bharadwaj in the web name. And now I am going to hit save. So now case is created and you can see now a task is also created, right? Now I need, let's say if I move to task, so here you can see everything like, okay, uh, in comments, you will see the, the case description, right? It, status is not started, follow up as soon as possible priority. Hi, everything is working fine. Now, if I move to case again and not in the feed, yeah, in the right hand side, you will see all the field populated. Now let's try to check whether we received an email or not. Let me just try to refresh. So yeah, here you can see, hey, Shubham Bhargaj case registered. Now here you will see, hey, Shubham Bhargaj, thank you for reaching out. All the information that we put. And also you can see the description of the case. Yeah, so everything is populated and that's how we can use email alerts in our flow. Yeah.